welcome back in this module we will go through some interesting examples of development of surfaces let's start with development of cylinders using parallel line method a cylinder is a three dimensional object with a circular cross section having certain axis length l the development of a cylinder is the area covered by rolling out the cylinder on its curved surface over a plane surface so if the diameter of the cylinder is d and its axis length is l then its development is the area of rectangle of size 3.14 into d into l now let's develop the surface of a hexagonal prism resting on hp a circular hole is drilled completely through the prism bisecting the axis of the prism the axis of the hole is perpendicular to the vp first draw its orthogonal view the top view shows true shape and size of the hexagonal base of the prism project the details from top view to obtain the front view observe as the axis of the circular hole is perpendicular to the vp its front view appears as a circle in vp draw a circle of radius 45 mm with center as the midpoint of the vertical axis mark the points where the circle cuts the vertical projections from top view of the prism now draw projectors from 1 dash and 5 dash from front view to meet the hexagon at ps and qr next draw stretch out line a dash a dash a perpendicular line a dash a double dash is drawn from point a double dash a parallel line of length equal to line a dash a dash is drawn and then the rectangle is completed Now divide the line a dash a dash into six equal parts. Then draw vertical lines from these parts to meet line a double dash a double dash. On line a dash a dash, locate point p dash such that a dash p dash equals a p. Similarly, locate point q dash r dash s dash and draw vertical lines from these points. Now draw horizontal projectors from front view to cut the vertical lines of the development. After joining the above points by a smooth curve, we get the development of the lateral surface of the prism with the shape of the holes in it. So friends, here we have completed our example of the parallel line method. For practice you can solve some more examples